everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted and Distressed. This video is part of my Halloween series. I hope you enjoy. This first project I am going to take these ceramic metallic book stacks that I got from Target Dollar Spot on clearance for like 50 cents and I just gave them a good coat of Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and then I'm just taking my white wax and going all the way over them to give them a really vintage old dusty look to them and I like to use this Dollar Tree makeup brush for my when I'm waxing um, it really applies the wax nicely and um, works really well and plus it's pretty too. And then just with my Cricut Joy, I just used some glitter gold vinyl. And um, this was the first time I've ever used Smart Vinyl. And uh, so I had a little bit of a time getting it off, but uh, once I figured it all out, then it was good to go. And then I'm just using some of these cool little jeweled spider rings from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue that onto the edge of the book there. So we are making some shelf sitters or tiered tray decor in this video today and so it's kind of going to be like a collection if you will and so all of the projects are going to have to wait until the end to see them all together and um, so I it's a little bit different than what I normally do, but it just made more sense of when I was editing this video. So, my apologies if you didn't, in, if you don't enjoy this um, format. I am taking, I just took a little skull ring for the other side of this book stack and painted it using folk art uh, chuck paint in the color black current. And then I'm just taking these dice from Dollar Tree and I'm painting them using folk art in the color pavement and same with this rolling pin as well. I love the color pavement because it's not so stark black but it's black enough if that makes sense. And then I just lightly dusted using my white wax um, on the blocks and the rolling pin to give them a really nice antiqued aged look. And then also using my Cricut again, I just, for the blocks, I just spelled out boo. <laughs> Very creative, I know. <laughs> um, and then with the rolling pin, I just uh, spelled out spooky. And then uh, for the edges, I am using a folk art. It's their Treasure Gold line, and it's in the color Mayan Gold. I love this color so much, and especially with the pavement, I just think they look really good together. And then using some toothpicks from Dollar Tree, I just put a little um, bat on the end. And then with these are these really fun wooden gnomes that I got in the Target dollar spot and they were really roughed up though the wood it was they were so rough so I did give them a, a good sanding um, just to smooth them out a little bit and then on one of them I painted the top using that pavement color again just their hat um, in that color The Target Dollar Spot, I don't know if anybody has been there lately, but I've been going there almost more than I've been going to Dollar Tree, which is unheard of. But they just have the cutest stuff lately, and it's so inexpensive. And then the other uh, Nomi, I'm just giving him his actual face or his body, um, the pavement color. And yes, I am using the world's smallest paintbrush. And then for this one, his body is going to be using that same Mayan gold color. And then the other gnome, I'm going to paint his hat using the Mayan gold color. Lots of black and gold. I just love the, the color combination. It's a little bit different for Halloween instead of the traditional oranges and blacks. Um, I do like the pinks too and the oranges, but um, I just, I don't know, I was really enjoying the gold and the, 
the black this year. And then I just took some folk art matte uh, paint in the color Vintage Tea Rose and I just used that for their noses. And this little home is also from the Target dollar spot and this was on clearance also for like a quarter. I, I don't know why but I took advantage of that and I also colored it, or painted it in the c color pavement. And then I cut out with my Cricut of course the words Haunted haunted house as you can see but I um, while they were on the transfer paper I kind of made them crooked and um, so that's how I was able to get that look and then using these toothpick bats from Dollar Tree um, I'm just painting them using the same Mayan gold color all of these projects are so simple and so easy to do but just make such a fun little shelf sitters or tiered tray decors. Now these are tiered tray um, sets that I got from the Target Dollar Spot as well and so I'm just painting two of them. Um, at first I painted that one on the left um, in the I think it's um, well it doesn't matter because I end up changing it to be honest with you. <laughs> I think it's linen, vintage linen or something like that. Mineral, sorry. It was Waverly and Mineral. And then with the toothpicks I am also using um, the ghost little toothpicks from Dollar Tree and I end up changing that you'll see in a minute. Because at first I was doing a different color theme when I started making my projects and making this video. As you can see with that cat on the right which I didn't end up using but I was kind of going for like a gold, pink, black, it doesn't matter, an orange colors but then I really liked the gold and the black so anyways um, so now I'm just, it happens all the time, so now I'm just painting over the ghosts and I'm um, making them gold and then this little one is also from the same little set. Um, from Target and same with these little pumpkins are from Dollar Tree. They're just the toothpicks that I clipped off to use and um, I changed my mind on this one as well and so I'm just going back over and painting them gold. And then this I got from the Target Dollar Spot as well um, but back Easter time and I didn't end up doing anything with it and I but I loved the shape of it and so at first of course I'm going over it with mineral but then I thought no I'm not going to do that I'm going to paint it black I wanted to I wanted it to go into the golden black theme again so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just kind of following where the original paint lines were as much as possible and these were a dollar from the dollar section at Target and um, I thought the little candy corns would be perfect to use on this truck instead of like a traditional pumpkin or something like that and so at first I painted the yellow parts of the candy corns with the vintage tea rose but you'll see in a minute after I touch them I decided I wanted them gold <laughs> I don't know it's been a while uh, since I've uploaded a video I have missed making videos so much but I am back and I will have a regular weekly upload schedule and I could not be more excited and I have missed like I said filming so much and creating um, but I am back and I hope you will subscribe and so you don't miss out on we've got one more Halloween video coming up and um, and then we're straight into the holidays which is my favorite time of the year uh, so I hope you will stick around and make sure not to miss out on any of the videos so I'm just taking the gold again for the wheels and this project I was inspired by something I got an email from Michaels and so I'm taking these skulls from Dollar Tree and I'm painting them using the vintage tea rose paint again and I'm because I originally painted them with the mineral as you saw but um, I don't know I didn't really like the color I thought they needed something a little bit more vibrant and uh, and so I ended up doing that and I liked it better and of course this is just a um, this is from Dollar Tree and I just painted the bottom gold instead of black um, 
and then these little foam roses at first I was going to use just like the black and the orange ones and maybe the purple but then I ended up just going outside and spray painting them all black and I left a couple orange ones um, and this is everything together um, I love how everything turned out I just think they're just so fun and elegant and timeless and it, pretty much you can incorporate it with any type of decor and they were so simple and so fun to make and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as well um, tried to make this video as quick as possible I know short form videos are kind of more popular nowadays and um, so I tried to cut it down as much as possible but if you have any questions of any supplies that I've used, please leave me a comment down below and I will make sure to answer every single comment. And I do appreciate you sticking around and taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you click that subscribe button and give a big thumbs up as it does help my channel to grow and get into the algorithm. And once again, thank you so much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.